All right, here's what I intend to show in this video, is that the, the reason for crystals in the earth, in the rocks, is not from recrystallization as is traditionally thought of. It's not, you know, it, traditionally they thought that crystals go and they find each other and yada, yada, yada. Well, there is some degree to that, truth to that, but it's not necessarily the whole story. The whole story is, is that it starts with life. Crystal starts with life. Crystals are, are, are the life is the cradle of crystals. Now, here's the deal. Life separates out chemicals. The world, you know, dirt in the ground doesn't separate chemicals. They don't just fall into lumps of this and that by themselves. Bone is makes the calcium, the phosphorus, all that business, and then blood and, and, and the marrow and it's iron and I mean it, 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 fats and you know uh, collagens and keratins they're all broke down into different different chemical concentrations okay so now now we've got concentrations of chemicals your skin is 50 times more uh, silicon in your skin than in your your um, flesh all right so now we know they concentrate this is no question that life does this Earth doesn't do this. Chemicals concentrate as needed by life, not because of loneliness. They don't come and find each other just because they're lonely. It's life. All right. Death and decomposition re releases what? It releases the volatile organic compounds. It's the same thing they use in that. Uh, what is that? Uh, carbon. The um, fil carbon use a fr filter uh, activated charcoal, and. It, what they do is it, it gets all kinds of organic compounds in it and then they burn those off and it's ready to absorb more stuff. Those burn off at like 1500 degrees, 2000 degrees, the organic compounds, they what they call sublimate into the air. And that is the methanes and hydrogens and all that volatile, volatile, explosive gases. And I, all this is a product of sinkhole research and I have videos about that, but th that's why I'm into this. And this just fell out of that sort of research. Anyway, uh, these volatile organic compounds go away from the minerals that build up the body. So your bone and all that business has the minerals in there. Not, it doesn't have the car carbon, uh, you know, the uh, hydrocarbons and all that business. So, okay, so now we know we've got a structure of the body and we have uh, gooey stuff in there that, that that uh, goes away, it's, it sublimates away, vaporizes, think of it that way. No, death does that. It releases those vo volatile organic compounds and we suck them out of the earth as gas, oil, and bitumens. Now, that, what is that? It's, I mean, obviously it has to leave voids in these holes that are in the bodies of creatures. It doesn't just leave holes in the ground, they leave voids because it, it, all of this stuff is fossil fuels. It leaves voids where the lungs were. It leaves voids where the, the tissue was. And these voids are t they're, they're small voids. In some cases, sometimes they're huge. And what ends up going is all the volatile stuff goes and you end up with metal seeds. Metals don't sublimate off the way the other stuff does. And those little tiny metal seeds are in there. And those remain inside these cavities. They're called vugs and things like that, they call them. And what happens to that? Well, percolates come down through, the voids fill up with percolates, and inside the percolates there's mineral, minerals which are molecular sized, tiny little platy polar silicates. That means they have a positive, negative, and they're looking for somebody to hook up with. So they, a positive guy is looking for a negative guy. And they, they, they hook up with their bonding atoms, and then there's nucleophilic reactions which are invading groups and all this business. All that stuff is fully understood. I'm not going to bother with that. But the, the, the end result is the, the molecular crystals. So, okay, so now we're back to the, the voids fill up, the percolate and the minerals. The molecular crystals, these little tiny crystals, bump up against those little seeds. The seeds are looking for the seeds. They're seeds. They want to grow. And they're looking for other crystals to hook up with. Well, the crystals that are coming down in the percolates are in the form of tiny, tiny little invading crystals. And the reason for that is because the surface of the creature that was buried has been plated by electroplating. There are electrical currents in the, in the earth. Nobody's ever even considered those. And what they do is they do a, a process of electrophosphorylation. I've done this. I have tested done that. Anyway, the crystals grow. They grow from the seeds. 
That is recrystallization. Not flocculation where they all figure they're going to go try to find each other. No, it's not, it doesn't work that way. And there's, oh, we can make crystals in the lab. Of course you can. They, take, they bring the components together, then they spray them with some little molecular things. That is absolutely not natural, totally unnatural. Everything I'm showing you is 100% natural, testable. Plus, the chemicals that are in these areas are, have the same elements that the body has in them in, in, in similar proportions here and there and in the blood and so forth and in, in, in the, the ferrous oxides is, is no question the art, articulation of the anatomy is is just unimpeachable so anyway this is what i'm saying life is the cradle of crystals not recrystallization by flocculation that's just insanity to my mind they, they, anyway, this is my thinking, and if somebody can find a flaw with it, that's fine. I'd like to hear it. But this is, a, I have the physical specimens that I can virtually, well, I can prove they were alive. I have DNA results on some of these things. Uh, CAT scans, I have seven CAT scans. And, and, and they were from living creatures, and now they have crystals. And the crystals propagated because of the seeds that were left at, or, over in the voids after the biodigestible things, the volcan uh, volatile organic compounds left these little tiny holes. And then the metals that were left in them, which are products of your bodily tissues, your bodily fluids, and your uh, blood and so forth. And, and they grow crystals depend upon what the percolates are in the in, in, in area where they're buried. And then people go and find the crystals and, and that's it.